Hi there. Welcome. I'm very glad for you to join this practice um, today. That's all about the element of wind. In Ayurvedic terms, a vata practice, a very airy practice. We're going to use a blanket as usual. Um, if you don't have one, don't worry, you can do this without a blanket. If you do, roll it up, please, and bring your knees onto the rolled blanket. So you have a little support now. And we're gonna start in a seated position. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths just to find your way into your practice, into a little more awareness here. Start to feel your sit bones grounding you down, the crown of your head lifting you up, stacking your vertebrae on top of each other. And already maybe noticing a quality of lightness here in your upper body, a quality of airiness, of ease. So even if you're trying to be straight here, even if you're trying to be upright, try to make that an easy way, make that something that feels nice to you, nothing too forced. And then invite a few deeper breaths here, especially focusing on the space between the ribs, inhaling to take a little more space, exhaling to soften in. A little more active breathing. After a couple of breaths, just sink your chin to your chest and gently open your eyes. Take your arms in front as if you're holding a ball. And as you inhale, you open your arms, make that ball a little bigger and as you exhale, you press it back into that original shape. So you're kind of imitating your breath. And each time you inhale, you take a little more space with your hands, curling or curving that ball shape a little bit. So you're taking different shapes and you're also imitating the movement of your diaphragm. So inhaling, widening, exhaling, coming back closer, expansion and contraction. As you inhale next, widen the arms all the way out and then back, fingertips behind you. Look up slightly, maybe turn your gaze over the right shoulder, exhale, inhale over the left shoulder. And then interlace your fingers behind the back, pull your shoulders back gently and start circling, rotating in your hips here with your upper body around your hips. So I'll start towards the left, circling into the left direction. Just a couple of rounds here in your own time. There really is no rush. And then arriving at center, lengthening again, switching the crossing of the shins and switching the interlace of your fingers. So you shift one finger over and you start once again, circling the other way around, this time from left to right. There really is nothing you can do wrong here. Just explore a little bit how the back feels about this. If this is too much, if this feels like straining, just make smaller circles and let everything go a little bit. Find lightness in the movement. Arrive at center, release your hands from behind you onto your knees. Take a breath up the spine. And as you exhale, round back, soften the head. Feel a little bit that pull of gravity, the counterpart to vata, the kapha energy that's holding you down. And then slowly rise back up and let's move on from here. So bring the blanket to the side and make your way into hands and knees, arriving on your mat. You can always use the blanket for cushioning, of course. Hands a little wider than shoulders, knees right under the hips or wider. And start with a few light movements, cat and cow. I like to focus again onto that rib cage area here pulling back the mid back with your exhale, dropping the hips, dropping the ribs with your inhale. Extend the left leg behind you, lengthen the spine, inhale, hold here, exhale, and then slowly take the leg out to the left, set the foot down, walk your hands towards you, lift your arms up, slightly waving back, super light, breezy movement. As you exhale, land softly on your fingertips again. As you inhale, you reach your arms up. As you exhale, you slowly find your way back onto the mat. One more time, up. Exhale, gentle movement down, land softly on your hands. And then this time, come up all the way, reach high, lengthen up. Exhale, widen your arms to both sides. And then lean over, come into a side bend, side plank here. I'll show you from the front. Lean into your right arm, lift your left hand up and slowly come back, lean over into that side, bend towards the left. 
inhale center exhale right fingers down left fingers up and other way around good one more time lean over lengthen and this time take the arm over the left ear and then see if you can hold on to your left leg from behind and look down towards the mat slowly release come back into that gate pose lean back from here again that light breezy airy movement and slowly come back kick the leg behind you bring the knees down to the mat hands down knees down any movement you like with breath find your exhale We're gonna go to the other side, right leg kicks behind you, reach the heel back, lengthen, extend your spine, even the crown of the head, as you exhale, take the leg out to the right, walk your hands towards your knees, lift your legs, sorry, lift your arms, and exhale, very light movement back down to the mat, tap the mat, inhale, reaching up and open, exhale, fingertips down, landing softly, last one up and down. Good, and with a little momentum, Slowly wave back up, open the arms, and reach the left hand down, this time right arm up. Good. Stay here, reach the chest open, and then lean back onto the right leg and slowly wave the arm over the ear. Inhale, center, reach the leg. Exhale, side bend into your gate pose. And do it one more time, this time hold here. Hold in that side bend and then slowly extend your arms in front. Inhale, exhale, wave the fingers down. Extend the leg behind you again. And slowly take the knee down. Back into hands and knees, take a deep breath. Maybe a side movement this time with your torso, with your hips, whatever feels right. And then walk your hands a little bit in front of your shoulders, tuck your toes under. Inhale, exhale, shift the hips up and back, drop the head. And you can just Walk a little bit from side to side, moving your hips, bending one knee, then the other, just getting into this shape with a little more flexibility, a little bit more fluidity. Again, airy movements here, light movements, coming onto one hand and then the fingertips of the other and then switching fingertips of the other. Good, and eventually maybe opening one hip with your movement in the hand and then shift it back all the way, straighten the legs out, drop the head, Shake it out and walk your hands back towards your feet. Come into a forward fold. Uttanasana. Soften here. Come halfway up onto your fingertips. Set your hips low. Lean into your heels. And as you exhale, fold forward. And then step your left foot forward. So come a little bit forward with that left foot. Slowly squatting down and stretching back up as you fold. So inhale again, chest reaches forward, so you sink into your knees, and as you exhale, you fold round again. One more time, inhale towards the front, this time set the knee down. Step the left foot a little bit in front and bring your palms together. So you come into a lunge, turning towards the left. Fingertips in touch. Again, keep the upper body soft. We're not forcing, we're not tensing anything here. Move back to center, reach your arms up and behind you. Lean back here, and then as you exhale, wave your arms back down, maybe to the inside of the foot. Walk your fingers with you, reach the right leg behind you, standing split. Even if this is hard to hold and you are clearly working against gravity, see if you can find lightness. Good. From here, the right foot steps in front of the left, and you're squatting down again. Inhale, squatting, exhale, rounding, straightening the legs. A couple of times, bending and opening the front then set the knee down step the right foot a little bit forward make sure you feel solid here in this position bring your hands together in front of you and twist gently over towards the right keep pressing your fingers maybe your palms into each other and then spin back to center reach your arms up inhale to lean back as much as feels comfortable here open the arms exhale slowly bring the hands down And then from there, up into the standing split, kicking this time the left leg behind. Try to even out your hips. Step both feet next to each other. Bend your knees as you fold and then slowly roll up into standing. 
Good. Roll your shoulders a couple of times. Again, bringing that quality of lightness. And then step your left foot back. Make your way into a warrior two position. Right foot, in, sorry, left foot. <laughs> sorry, right foot in front, left foot behind you. Lean over into a side angle towards the front leg. Curl your shoulder down and slowly swing all the way over towards that back leg, back leg, and reach the right arm back. And so you're going from side to side, left leg over the left ear, and exhale, leaning back, right arm, sorry, not leg, arm over the ear. So just swinging from side to side here a couple of times. And then slowly bring it back to center. See if you can wave back and then parallel your feet come into a forward fold, wide forward fold. Shake your head out, lean into the front of the feet. Maybe you can even lift your heels here, inviting a little bit of lightness into the lower body, lifting up and lowering down gently. When you're ready, slowly roll back up into standing. Turn out your left foot, lean into that heel and slowly into that left leg. Reach your right arm over your right ear and then slowly collapse the shoulder down and swing all the way over to the back leg. So you're alternating between reverse warrior and side angle pose, but you're coming through the front. Swinging from side to side. When you're ready, you're slowly going to open up, lean into the front knee, look up, hold here in your reverse, feel the space in the rib cage, that area where we feel the air in our body, the rib cage, the area where we feel the breath and the breathing muscles, and slowly let your arms fade down. Step your feet together, come into a standing position, and from here right into a squat. So you're going to turn your toes out, come into the toes, Knees moving to both sides, squat down. Very slowly, bring your fingertips in front of your chest. Look at your hands, focusing here in the balance, and then bring your hands down and behind you so you can sit down. Let your feet touch. Maybe you can hold onto your ankles. You could always, always bring a blanket under your knees. I like to elevate my knees wherever I go. <laughs> and then just from here, a really nice movement actually to begin with is swaying the upper body from side to side. So letting go of any tension here in the upper body once again, just like we started, and then zigzagging your way down towards your feet. Whenever you feel like you want to come to stillness, you're very much invited to do that. Just make sure you feel really ready to let go of this vibration and then stay in this very grounding position now so to finish off this practice we're going to take a last moment to feel a little bit of an earthy a little bit of a kapha energy so we got a lot in motion we got a lot of movement in and now we want to ground down in stillness Take a few breaths into the back, feel our sit bones grounded into the mat, our lower body heavy. Allow for your exhale to lengthen. Allow for your head to be the anchor that's pulling your spine long. And then when you're ready, you can start to roll up from here, coming into a very soft seated position. Bring your palms together in front of you. Lengthen the spine. Take a last breath. Thank yourself for your practice. And I see you next time. Namaste.